Good evening and welcome to your restorative practice. Let's make sure that we have a blanket and a various amount of pillows available to use as support. We can use a thin pillow underneath our head and place a blanket on top of ourselves as we lay back in Savasana, also known as corpse pose. Beginning to draw an awareness to your breath as you slowly inhale and exhale, softening, letting go. Inhale, nice, slow breath of intention, allowing peace to come into our space. Exhale, letting go. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Continuing to let go with every exhale and allowing our body to rest, restore, rejuvenate. Being gentle with our thoughts, reminding ourselves that it is okay to feel a little fear during this time, but recognizing that fear again is an emotional response to the external world. So gently reminding ourselves that this is a moment and this too shall pass. And that all we can do is take care of ourselves, take care of those around us and be respectful of our space. Slowly inhaling and exhaling, softening into the back body, releasing any tension residing in our space, any stress, any thoughts that are cluttering our mind. Slowly begin to wiggle fingers and toes, gently rocking out ankles and wrists. Begin to bend your knees, placing your feet flat onto the floor. Take your feet as wide as your mat and let your knees fall into each other, releasing a little pressure on your lower back, softening into that space, continuing to inhale and exhale, taking your time as you follow your breath all the way down. Taking your time as you check in with your thoughts just for a moment and releasing those that do not serve you. Taking a nice stretch up overhead with arms, lengthening out the legs as long as you can. Good, really reaching into both ends of the body. Nice big stretch and soften release. Begin to remove your blanket and you can just set it aside. Arms come to our side, bringing our knees into our chest, gently massaging our lower back, right and left, rocking out the lower back kidney space, breathing in and out gently. As slow as we can, we're really going to slow it down in our restorative practice today. Enjoying maybe the sound of the rain, if it's still raining outside. Gently crossing the right ankle over the left thigh and take the right foot down to the floor on the left side of our mat. Arms out to a T. And we can stay here with our gaze or we can take our gaze towards our right arm. But if your neck is unhappy in that position, just stay where you are. Continue to breathe, inhale and exhale, allowing a softening in through the side body and hips. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Continuing to breathe. Coming back to center, uncrossing the right ankle from the left thigh and taking the left ankle over to the right thigh and turning the hips down towards the right side. Arms out to a T and gaze can go to the left hand or we can just stay with our gaze to the ceiling. Eyes are closed or soft. Continuing to inhale and exhale. Taking our time to breathe, soften. Letting go, connecting, rooting down. Coming back to center on crossing your ankle. And you can take two pillows of the same size, placing them on either side of your thighs and bring the soles of your feet together and knees drop out, coming into bound angle. But let's again support this so that there is no tension in our inner thighs so that our growing space can really relax, soften. 
Inhale and exhale, allowing your body to soften down towards the earth, continuing to breathe. Inhale and exhale, softening. Inhale and exhale. Softening into the back body, continue to breathe. Inhale and exhale. There's nothing you need to worry about. Everything is fine. Your space is protected and safe. You're taking the necessary precautions to take care of yourself, your family, your friends. Inhale and exhale, softening all the way down. Continuing to breathe as you do so, noticing how relaxed you become with each breath. Inhale and exhale. Very gently, beginning to just awaken yourself, bringing your knees back together. Picking up your hips, shifting them to the right, and letting both knees fall to the left. Arms can come out to a T. Your gaze can go towards your right arm. Knees to the left, gaze to the right. Again, if our neck is unhappy, we can just continue to look up towards the ceiling. But again, it's Yogi's choice of where we want to be with our bodies. Inhaling and exhaling. Continuing to breathe. Continuing to check in. Each exhale allows us to accept the space we are in. Slowly bringing knees back to center, placing the feet, shifting the hips to the left and drawing both knees to the right. And gaze can go to the left if our neck is happy doing so. Inhale, exhale, softening into the ribs, softening into the hips, softening into those spaces. Recognizing again that this is just a moment in time and we are safe and secure in our home. We are safe and secure with our loved ones. Slowly bringing your gaze back to center, then your knees, picking up your hips and centering yourself, drawing both knees in towards your chest and rocking right and left, massaging out that lower back. Continuing to breathe. Inhale and exhale. Landing the feet onto the floor. Good. And making sure that we have set our pillows aside, giving ourselves some space. Arms at our side, begin to press again through the heels and peel that spine up off the earth, rising in through the hips, slowly lowering back down, one vertebra at a time, taking our time with our breath, being aware of how our bodies feel as we inhale, rise, exhale, soften, letting go. Inhale, rise, exhale, letting go. Inhale, slowly begin to peel, rise up. Exhale, softening, letting go. Inhale, rise, and exhale, fall. Inhale, rise, and exhale, fall. Remember, we're always listening to our bodies. Begin to extend your legs and place both feet to the left corner of the mat. Extend your arms and place both arms to the left corner of your mat, creating almost this banana or crescent moon shape with your body, reaching out of the right side of the body, feeling a nice lengthening, breathing into the right lungs, lengthening through that space, continuing to inhale and exhale, coming back to center. Placing both feet to the right corner, upper arms to the right corner, coming into a nice side stretch, breathing into those spaces, lengthening out of the left body, continue to breathe. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Softening, coming back to center with your legs and your arms. Big stretch. Bring your arms down to our side body. Feeling again, our connection rooting down with the earth, letting go of anything that does not serve us. Setting forth the intention that we understand this again is just a moment in time, everything will pass. And all we can do is again, check in with ourselves, check in with our practice. 
connect with people over FaceTime, cell phones, WhatsApp, Skype. We have all this wonderful technology. Let's use it in a positive way. Bending knees, bring them in close to your chest, capturing the top of your kneecaps or even the back of your hamstrings, beginning to draw circles with your knees, rounding out those hips, rounding out that lower back, breathing. Inhale and exhale. Good. And slowly taking your circles the opposite direction. Always breathing as you move. Remembering that your body needs that movement, needs that breath to help move. Just like water becomes stagnant if it's not breathing or moving. Crossing the right leg right over the left thigh. Taking your fingertips up towards the sky and crossing your left arm over your right arm, giving yourself a hug and taking both knees to the right and taking a little bit of a peek to the left, rolling onto the left shoulder or left scapular space, coming into a gentle cow face in a reclined and easy position. You can use, even use pillows on the underside to the right. Bring your gaze back to center and your legs. Uncrossing your arms, uncrossing your legs. Left leg crosses over right. Arms come up in front and now right crosses over left. Taking both knees to the left, taking our gaze and our right shoulder to the right. Breathing gently into the twist. Feeling the lengthening in through the pelvis. Continuing to inhale and exhale, recognizing again, this is the moment. This too shall pass as we soften and enjoy our practice. Coming back to center, uncrossing arms and legs. Bring your knees into our chest and rolling on to the left or right side. It doesn't matter, whatever feels good to you, using your underarm as a pillow. Coming into a side lying position, continue to inhale and exhale. Checking in with ourselves. How does our body feel? Pressing into the earth with our top arm and extending our top leg, coming on to our hands and knees, but grabbing our pillow. So let's take a bigger pillow and we're gonna place it on our lap or on our thighs and tuck it right into our tummy. Take a narrow pillow, place it where your head would land and come into almost a puppy dog pose. So you can bring the knees a little wider, bring the big toes together if you'd like. Keep your hips a little more elevated. You can also take another pillow underneath the space below your buttocks and in between your calves. Continuing to breathe. Inhale and exhale, soften. But again, let the pillow support you in a more restorative position. It's kind of like a little in between puppy dog and child's pose. So you can take whatever one you like, whatever one feels good to you. Inhale and exhale, softening. Remembering that we're using the pillows to kind of fill the gaps or the spaces that we can sometimes create in our body so that it feels more supported, so that it feels more comfortable, so that we can really allow ourselves to relax and release, letting go. Let's rise up, placing our hands directly underneath our shoulders. Still keep that pillow tucked up in close to your thigh and your belly. Extend out through the right arm, sweeping it through and underneath the left armpit. Coming onto the back side of the right shoulder. Please make sure you're on the shoulder, not resting on the head. And we can take the left arm either extended up over top or we can cross it in behind our back and tuck it into our right hip pocket. Continuing to breathe. Inhale and exhale. Nice thread the needle. Taking our time with our practice. Bringing the left arm back up, then the right. Taking the left arm out to the side, sweeping it underneath the right armpit, landing on the back side of the left shoulder, taking the right arm either up ahead or tucking it in to our back left hip pocket. Continuing to inhale and exhale. 
breathing into this space, finding length in through the spine as always, bringing the right hand back down, pressing, bringing the left hand back underneath the shoulder, continuing to breathe, inhale and exhale. You can come back into child's pose, taking that thin pillow that I mentioned earlier and placing it between the space of our buttocks and our calves, keeping the lap pillow, and then gently resting our forehead. Arms can be soft either at our side, soft at our head, or even extending over top. It's your choice, your practice, taking your time to breathe, connecting with the breath, inhale and exhale, softening down. Remember that this is your practice, this is your time. Each exhale, letting go, recognizing that everything is perfect in this moment. Inhale, begin to rise up. Let's place our pillows aside. And we're going to just grab the big pillow and place it where eventually our pelvis will land. We're going to use the narrow one. If we need a bigger stack of pillows, please use it. Gently sweep your right leg above the pillow and bring it parallel to the top of your mat. As you fold over top of your front right leg and allow yourself to reach for the pillows onto the ground so that your forehead, your face can land onto those pillows. Coming into a nice supportive version of your pigeon, inhaling and exhaling. Folding over top of that front thigh. Continue to breathe. Letting the bottom pillow support your pelvis, your glutes, your hamstrings. No tension. That's what we really want to aim for. So if you need to use more pillows, please do so. You can never, ever, ever have enough props. Some of you may even have bolsters at home or blocks. Please feel free to do so and use those. I'm showing modifications for anyone that's new to yoga or anyone that's wanted to try yoga in the comfort of your own home and the props that you can use. Slowly rise up. And however you would like to bring that right leg back, you bring it back. Maybe you would like to heel toe it out to the side, sweep it back, or you can just sweep it under, your choice. Bring the left leg up and in front above the pillow so that your left shin is parallel to the top side of your mat. And same thing, gently fold over top of that front leg. Coming into that folded position, breathing, inhaling and exhaling, softening, recognizing that both sides of our body are very different. So we may need more or less props on one side compared to the other. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Breathing in and out gently. Recognizing that we are letting go. Enjoying our space. Slowly begin to rise up, sweeping that left leg either straight through and back or sweeping it around, whatever works for your body. Continuing to take your time. Set our pillows aside. We're gonna turn around and sit onto our buttocks. We can sit on a narrow pillow or a block underneath our buttocks. We're gonna take our hands and pull away our butt flesh, sitting up nice and tall. So feeling those two bony joints or spaces in your buttocks. Inhale, rise, exhale, fold over top of your legs. Continuing to inhale and exhale, softening, reaching wherever we can, feet, ankles, calves, anywhere at all. Breathing into the backside of the body, enjoying this moment as we let go. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Continuing to breathe.
slowly begin to rise up. Nice long spine. Draw the right heel in towards your buttocks. Option to keep it there or you can cross it over your left. Take your left elbow crease and wrap it around the front of your knee. Right arm comes in behind your back, but try not to rest on that right arm. We're just using it to give ourselves a little extra traction to look over that right shoulder. Continuing to breathe. Slowly coming back to center, switching sides, left heel in towards the buttocks, wrap the right elbow, crease around the left knee, place the left arm in behind the back, twist, look over that shoulder. At any time, if you want to stay in a pose, feel free to pause before we continue on. Inhale and exhale. Unraveling, coming back to center, extending that left leg. Guiding yourself all the way down. We can use that thin pillow again for underneath our head. Arms at our side. Begin to pick up our hips and slide the bigger pillow underneath, the thick pillow, directly underneath your pelvis. So making sure the entirety of your pelvis is supported by the thicker pillow or block. Arms at our side. Engage in through our tummy, lifting our legs, coming into an L position with our body. If we are feeling like we need a little more support, we can even come to a wall and put our legs up the wall. Still using a support underneath our pelvis if we'd like to, and again, taking extra support at the wall if we need it. Continuing to inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Softening into the spaces. Remember that this is your practice, your time to take care of yourself, to connect with your body and breath. With each exhale, you feel yourself sinking a little deeper into the mat. Your face softens, your chest, your belly. Breathing into these spaces. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Slowly begin to bend your knees, placing your feet back down on the floor. Picking up your hips, moving the pillow. And extending your legs, coming back into Savasana, Shavasana, corpse pose. Reconnecting with that breath as you travel all the way down, inhale and exhale, letting go. Allow your feet to become heavy and weighted, falling out to the sides, legs sinking down to the earth. Relax your buttocks, soften in through the belly, let the chest settle in, let your throat expand, softening shoulders to the earth so that they feel supported, lengthening through the back of the neck. Separating your teeth, letting your tongue drop to the back of your mouth. Eyeballs soften into the back of the sockets. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. slowly beginning to wiggle fingers and toes gently rocking out ankles and wrists internally and externally rotating your legs bend your knees place your feet flat on the floor bringing both knees towards your chest gently rocking right and left and rolling on to whichever side speaks to you right or left there are no wrong sides coming into a nice fetal position a breath of safety security knowing that we are doing the best we can to stay isolated in our homes so that we can stop spreading the virus. Pressing into the top arm, lengthening the top leg, coming into an easy seated prayer position, one ankle in front of the other. Inhale, exhale, hands to heart center. And as always, the divine light in me honors the divine light in each of you. Namaste. Have a blessed night. Take care. Be safe. Peace.